What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is All Things Cinco EDC. If this is your first time and you like all things EDC, go ahead and take a second to subscribe down below. It doesn't cost you anything, but it does help me out tremendously. We go over all things EDC, whether it's guns, gear, flashlight, all things that help in the efforts of self-defense, protecting yourself and your loved ones. Also a couple things that could help in survival every now and then, I like to bring them to you, as well as training. Training is a huge part of EDC. I actually have a video that I just made recently on the Mantis Laser Training Academy. It's a laser training system to help you save ammunition and train at home. You don't have to go to the range. So go ahead and check that one on out. It's pretty new, but training, training, training. So today we got a good one for you. Today we're going over this thing you see here, this is the PSA Dagger. So let's go down onto the tabletop and find out what she's all about. Check out the features, check out some footage and see what she's got. So this is the Palmetto State Armory Dagger. As you see there, PSA Dagger. There's a little silhouette of what it looks like. Uh, this is the case that actually comes in. It's still in pretty good shape because I haven't used this as much. This, this actually came as part of a bundle so I haven't been able to use it as much. So it's still in pretty good, almost like new condition. So I've been able to keep everything the way it is. So I wanted to show you this first because this is the actual model. Um, as you know, PSA has got a ton of these. So if you look there, this is the actual model of the weapon. So it is the PSA dagger pistol, the SW2 version. Uh, it is cut and ready for an RMR footprint optic. It has a threaded barrel, comes with extreme carry cuts and lower one-third co-witness sights and obviously has the dlc there which is the finish on the pistol so let's go ahead and open her on up and see what she's got so i gotta say that they do send you a pretty good case with this thing before we open it up um this pistol you can buy by itself it is on the palmetto state armory website it's in stock as we speak you can buy this thing for 379 i'm staring at the price right now and this thing is actually a great version um, it comes with so many features that it's definitely worth the price of what you're paying for it. So this is the case. This is what you get. As you can tell this thing, I've kept it as almost new. Um, so this is what you get. Obviously you have your pistol here, which is strapped in here, which, uh, maybe some of you can tell some of you can't, this thing actually, it's all Velcro. So you can actually tear this thing out of here. Very strong Velcro. You can actually, goodness gracious tear that thing out of there and actually move this thing around. Everything in here is fitted. So this is actually how the pistol came. So I put it back in that configuration. All these are removable. You got different little pouches for all kinds of stuff in here. So I think that's actually pretty cool. I mean, you can reconfigure this thing however you want. It's got pouches for mags there. Uh, it's got the standard lock that every gun comes with. So I'm sure every gun owner has quite a few of these laying around. You take that lock out of there and I'm sure you can put some more handy things in there. Um, if you want to carry this case around, it's a great option. Uh, obviously you see here, it comes with the Palmetto State Armory sticker. Uh, it's been there so long, it's stuck to the case, but you can see there, Palmetto State Armory, they're doing great things guys. So if you have not checked these guys out, there's the website, check these guys out. They are killing the market with making quality stuff and for cheap prices. So. It's got the owner's manual in here. That's actually the standard PSA dagger. That thing right there, you can actually get for like $2.99. And it's a good quality pistol. It is a Glock 19 clone, in case some of you didn't know that. So it, it, most of what they make here, they're all Glock 19 style clones. So they're great. They have them in full size versions. They have them in subcompact versions. Check them out. They have a million different combinations, color combinations, all that kind of stuff. So check them out always read your manual at least one time i think you should always read your manual in case there's something in there that you didn't know uh the moment you assume you know everything you stop learning so never assume you know it all and then it comes in here with some rmr screws for your red dot so that's always good to have a lot of companies don't do that these days you just assume that you're going to do it yourself and go get the necessary screws so that saves a headache there um, I've actually put the Hollow Sun 507C on there and it fit perfectly on there and that was a dream to shoot. So here's the pistol itself. Let's pull her out of there. 
and let's set this thing aside. Um, it does come with one mag. I have this mag in here right now, but the mag that it comes with is a standard 15 round P mag mag. As you can see there, uh, let me see. You know, you can find these things by the boatload. They're all over the internet. So let's go ahead and talk about this pistol you have here. So it is a PSA dagger. It is chambered in nine millimeter. Uh, it looks just like a Glock 19, as you can see there. Let's go over it front to back, and let's talk about all she has to offer. So as you can see from the front here, it does come with a threaded barrel. Obviously, keep in mind, guys, this is the SW2 version. A lot of them have threaded barrels. You can buy them without threaded barrels. You can always interchange the parts with a Glock 19, obviously. So it's got a thread protector on there. Set that to the side. As you can see right here, it's got a... Uh, Accessory rail right here in the front, very similar to the Glock 19. Actually, I have mine here. So I'll show you here. So I brought you guys in a little closer so you can see here. I put my Glock 19 here so we can go side by side. And as you can see, it is very similar to the Glock 19. All the dimensions all the way around are pretty close. I mean, it is a Glock 19 clone. So everything you see here, is nearly identical to the Glock 19. There you go. I'm sure that's making a couple of you nervous. <laughs> All firearms have been safety checked, so no need to worry. I'll do it one more time so you guys can sleep good at night. They've all been safety checked. Pull the trigger. So as you can see, it's got similar accessory rails. I'm gonna pop this thing off of here just to show you guys. Uh, I do have the TLR 7A on the front of this Glock 19. So you can see here. Once you pop this thing off, if it wants to cooperate. You can pop it right on here. See there, tighten it down. Tighten this thing down. And that looks fantastic, see there? I think it looks better on here than it does on the Glock. So you have an accessory rail there. So you see how it's compatible with Glock 19 parts. Moving right along, they got some cocking serrations on the front there that obviously can't go too high because of the carry cuts, but they do have some on the back here that are similar to the Glock 19, but Glocks have always had those up and down cuts. These look just like a standard Glock, uh, but these are a little angled. General statistics about this pistol. This pistol is just over seven and a half inches long. It's a little over four and a half inches height without, or tall without the mag. And width is about 1.2, a little over 1.2 thick. So that standard compact size. It does have that DLC coating that most pistols have these days. Uh, the thread pitch here on the threaded barrel is the half by 28 threaded barrel. It, the slide is made out of stainless steel. The frame is made out of polymer. As you see, it comes with iron sights. It does come with one 15 round magazine, as I said before. This is the 15 round P mag mag. So that thing fits in there great. As you can see right here at the bottom of this um, grip, you got these little cutouts here. So you can pull right at the mag. The mag accompanies that with these little divots here on both sides. So it lines up perfectly there. You can fit your hand in, rip those out. So as most of you know, if it's compatible with the PMAG, it's compatible with OEM Glock. So you can use from the 15 rounders to the 20 round with the base plate there, which I think looks fantastic, all the way to the fun sticks. So if you wanna shoot more and reload less, you can use that big boy there. So moving right along, um, talking about the grip texturing, it is very subtle, but it, uh, it does serve a good purpose there. It does grab on quite nicely. This one is slightly more subtle than this one. This one is slightly more aggressive. So as you can see there, it's a little more aggressive. So it definitely lends itself to a very good grip. It is very ergonomic. I like the way it feels in the hand. It's got this little finger bump here. It's got this little undercut here, which imitates what most people have done on their Glocks and 
raise up this undercut here so your finger fits in perfectly. Palmetto State Armory went ahead and put that right in there so you can get super high up on that pistol. Because as we all know, the higher you get up on it, the better you can control recoil, the better you can handle that gun. Moving on to this slide, it has these extreme carry cuts, which are actually not the windows. It's these carry cuts that are here, which make it a little more comfortable. I don't know if you can see there, they're a little more rounded on top. So it's not these straight edges. And then you got the window cuts there as well, which takes some weight off the barrel. And above all, it makes it look much cooler, which you don't get with a Glock and you're getting this for less price. This one comes with the Ameriglow lower one third co-witness sights. So once you put a red dot on here and it sits on nice and low, you can co-witness in the lower third of your window. So that's actually a very good feature. And if you guys notice this one, it looks slightly weird for those who are not familiar with this. Usually your rear sight is back here. These guys actually moved it to the front, which a lot of people have moved to lately. It's kind of a rather recent thing in the near, um, in recent history. This moves in slightly in front of the red dot so that as you're looking through your window, you can actually see both your sights there. So this is the first pistol I've gotten like that. Uh, I actually like it because of the fact that not that they move this forward, but that it allows the red dot to move further back. So I like that. Um, I think it makes it easier to get more holsters that you don't have to get an optic cutway in the front. You can slide this thing to the back and it stays further out of a lot of holsters. It's got the standard slide lock here, just like all other glots. So nothing big there. I mean, it does stick out enough to do what you gotta do, but not so far that it interrupts, as you see there. Now let's go over this trigger. The trigger is, um, it is modeled kind of after Glock, but with a different idea here. So Glock normally comes with, let's see here. This is an aftermarket trigger, but they modeled it after Glock. So Glocks always have this little dingus slash weenus that we call right here, that when you disable it, it allows the trigger to go back. But unless you disable that, you can pull this trigger from the side and it locks back here, as you can see there. So I think Palmetto State Armory was going with the same idea there, except they did it differently. They had this swivel right here, which allows it to go up. And then once you defeat that, you can pull the trigger. But if you don't, if you tried to do it without defeating that, it hits right there. So that's another version of a safety. So definitely you got to have your fingers on there in order to defeat that. So make sure you always hit that there. Um, the trigger pull, I, as I said before, I don't really get that deep into specs, but the trigger pull, if I had to guess, I would say is right around that five and a half pound mark. There's your reset. It's not very different from a Glock as far as the travel and the reset, but it is tactile. It is definitely a cleaner trigger break than a standard Glock trigger. So I definitely like this trigger way better than a standard Glock trigger. Glock is known for being mushy but glock is also known for going bang every time so sometimes people take the mush or the dependability i have no problem with the mushiness it's not my favorite but i'd rather be more dependable but like i said this thing it's a glock 19 clone so it does everything very similar to the glock 19. uh one difference that i do feel on this thing when i'm shooting it is i like i'm not sure why i think it has a better recoil impulse than the glock 19. i'm not sure what the mechanics of that are and why that is but I think this is more enjoyable when it comes to the recoil than a Glock 19. Um, this thing usually does come with a cover plate. I don't put it on because for one, this thing spends a lot of time in the safe. Uh, I have the cover plate, but it spends a lot of time in the safe and I like to throw on different optics to test the optics and to test the pistol with different optics to see what works better, what I like better. So hopefully this thing finds a permanent owner one day, but not as of yet. You got your standard uh, slide lock, same way you would do a Glock. Slide, release, you pull forward. You got your standard guide rod, standard barrel. Everything is the same as Glock. Matter of fact, let's do this. And you can see here, 
There's virtually no difference there, except they bent this one this way, they bent that one that way, they end up in the same place. Basically the same function, different style. As you can see, almost everything is identical. So with that, it you can rest assured knowing that if they uh, modeled it after this one, they're gonna get similar levels of reliability, dependability, so that's always good. And you don't get the Glock price tag with this. This thing is definitely worth every dollar you pay for it you get huge bang for your buck with this thing and just to show you the compatibility let me pop this right in here you can take this thing rebuild it back up how it was take put it right onto the glock 19 frame no problem fits on there just great function check fits on there perfectly every time so it just goes to show you how compatible it is how similar it is nearly identical so that's it guys that's the palmetto state armory dagger other than that uh other little features are you know you got your standard magazine release there with this little cutout that leads to it so it definitely sticks out a little further than a standard glock magazine catch so that's nice it is a flat face trigger for those of you who don't like the ridges on the glock triggers which i don't like either so that's that uh the guide rod is stainless steel uh your barrel is also dlc coated barrel uh it's a striker fired pistol obviously other than that there's not much else to say about this thing it shoots nice i like the way it shoots if you put a red dot on this thing i'll actually show you i had this red dot on here at one point and it's magnificent to shoot that way as you see it looks great with the light as far as holsters there are very limited options for these but there are people making it there's a lot more people making it now than there was before so it's not like glock 19 that has the biggest aftermarket ever but there is options for this there's a lot of guys out there that will custom make holsters for this no problem i don't have any because i don't carry this on a daily basis and i'm not planning on it anytime soon but you can definitely get options for these so there you go guys that is the palmetto state armory dagger uh make sure you look on the website for all different kinds of options they got tan they got all kinds of other two-tone options gray all gray black and gray tan and gray they got all kinds of stuff and not tan and gray that would look stupid but they got all kinds of options here guys so take a look see what you like the best uh they have bundles all the time they currently have ar-15s that you can get bundled with these for eight nine hundred bucks so definitely take advantage of those deals guys so once again that's the Palmetto State Armory Dagger. If you guys got any questions about it, uh, comment down below any questions you have. If I don't have the answer, I'll find it for you. I'll definitely get back to you guys on that. But aside from that, guys, get informed, get trained. Above all, get armed. Jesus Christ is King. I love you guys. As always, we're taking prayer requests. Stay tuned for the next video because I have my first giveaway that I'm going to bring to you guys. So stay tuned for subscribers. You'll definitely have a shot for free at the giveaway so subscribe comment share like the videos aside from that i love you guys take care